Sen. I told myself I probably wasn't going to do another hair dye video because I already have so many. <laughs> Yet, here we are. Deal with it. I think we all know a girl who just dyes her hair like every other week. And for me, I am that girl. And no, this is not my first time dyeing my hair in quarantine, or my second, or my third. And no, I'm not going to elaborate. So my most recent time dyeing my hair, I dyed it cool dark brown, the L'Oreal preference one. And that was like a couple weeks ago. And at first it was like good, it was cool, it was dark, it was brown. But then it faded a little quicker than I thought it would. Like in the sun, my hair just looks red, which I don't want. Unless I dye my hair red, which I'm not. I had that phase. It was great, but it's over now. So that's why I got a cool dark brown, because I wanted it to be cool. And I wanted it to cancel out the brassiness that my hair has so much of. It's ridiculous. And my natural hair color isn't even remotely red at all. It just like... It's a mystery. Let me just give a warning real quick. If you are contemplating dyeing your hair at home for the first time, don't do it. You won't be able to stop. Don't say I didn't warn you. Okay, now let's get on with it. It kind of surprised me that it faded as quickly as it did. And I know my hair looks kind of dark, but in the sun, it's a lot lighter, trust me. I'll insert a picture and I'll show you what it looks like outside because it's literally like a bright red. Like, are you kidding? Anyway, I was kind of surprised that L'Oreal Preference did that because L'Oreal Preference has ammonia. That's a bad chemical. But I figure if a hair dye has ammonia, I can trade off breathing in the chemicals for a longer lasting dye. But maybe that's not how it works. I'm probably wrong. But you know like the healthier hair dyes like Olea and like the ones without ammonia, I feel like they're less permanent because they're better for your hair. I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't listen to me. Maybe I just thought it would be more permanent because I'm used to the black one, which is black so it doesn't really come off or fade. But yeah, the cool dark brown just kind of wasn't cool or dark enough for me. It was at first, but now it's not. So I'm using the exact same kind again, but darker. And listen, it's not even here yet. It's coming tomorrow in the mail, but I just wanted to film this intro because I wanted to get it done, you know? I just, I need something to film and I need something to edit. So I'm not just sitting here in quarantine. Anyway, I ordered the cool darkest brown the last one was cool dark brown, so now I got darkest brown. And I have used this one before. It was fine, it was really dark. Yeah. I've used like, I've used a lot of colors before. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. I started getting the itch to dye my hair again like last week. I saw this picture of young Natalie Portman on Instagram. And she had like long dark hair and I was like, oh. I need to look like that, like I just do. You see, I am so easily influenced. Like I see one picture on Instagram or Pinterest and I'm on Amazon purchasing hair dye in two seconds. I'm not kidding. Are you like that too? Please tell me I'm not alone. I'm just so impulsive with my hair. And like, I feel bad for her, but like, she's strong, she can handle it. But yes, I'm very easily influenced when it comes to my hair. It's my fatal flaw. Will I ever stop? Possibly never. That's just how I am and I've accepted it and you should accept it too. So yeah, the dye is coming tomorrow. I haven't really decided how I'm gonna film the hair dyeing part yet or even if I am at all. Cause this is not a hair dyeing tutorial. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm doing even though I've done this a million times, I just kind of slap it on there and hope for the best. But maybe I will. We'll see. I just kind of wanted to take you along for the journey so you can see the results with me. Okay, 
Well, I think you sat through enough of me talking in a hair dyeing video, so let's just get to it. <laughs> So it's the next day and my hair is all done. <laughs> I'm doing the thing like in America's Next Top Model where they're doing the makeover episode but they're being interviewed and you can't see what their hair looks like yet so they're wearing like a scarf around their head. I guess I'll reveal it now since I've already made a huge deal out of it. what it looks like it's pretty dark but yeah I really like it I expected it to be dark everyone's gonna be like do you dye your hair black again no it's just a really dark brown some people are colorblind I swear but yeah I really like how it turned out I'll always go back to dark hair no matter what every time I lighten it I'm just fooling myself I know I'm just gonna go back to dark hair in like two weeks, so I don't even know why I bother. It's still on my skin a little bit, as you can see, but that'll come off when I wash it next. Hopefully I could inspire you to do this or not do this. Don't blame me if it goes wrong. I warned you. One bad thing about being pale and having dark hair though is that you just look like an egg 90% of the time. Especially if I'm like not wearing makeup and my hair is up. It's an eggy time for me. But I always look like an egg no matter what color hair I have. This just enhances it. So. I've got an eggy face. I don't really know what else to say. There's nothing for me to say. <laughs> Except subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.